Hello everyone, welcome to the Dirt Succulents Q&A. And the first question is, is it monthly need to spray fungicide para di sila lapitan or kapitan ng mga ganyan? And we also have another similar question that says, Napanood ko kasi new video mo kanina, sabi mo doon sa Dethane once a month po maintenance mo. Is it really okay? Kasi sa iba every 3 months, kaya nagulat po ako sabi mo monthly or once a month mo ginagawa. For these questions, I do apply fungicide sa ating mga succulents usually every 3 to 6 months. Ganon yung interval ko for healthy succulents. But if for example, ganito nga yung condition ng inyong succulents na obviously there is an existing na infection going on, then we really need to apply every month for this until we can finally succeed in controlling nga yung kanyang fungal infection. If we see na healthy naman na yung kanyang pag-grow dito sa kanyang pinakarse, then that's the time I try to stop treating them or spraying fungicide monthly. May nakikita ako sa online na binababad nila ng dethane. How many minutes po ba pwede ibabad ang succulent sa dethane? For this, I don't really do it. I personally never tried na ibabad yung aking mga succulent sa dethane. The first reason for that is there is no packaging instruction na nakalagay that we can use the fungicide for soaking uh, yung ating mga succulents. I always advise na Whatever brand you are using, always check nga yung kanilang packaging instructions or yung paano ba gamitin yung inyong mga fungicides. I cannot really answer kung ilang minutes ba talaga sila iba, but kasi I'm not doing it. Even some of my friends here na growers, they are not really doing this ethane bath. Pagka-apply ng fungicide, pwede na ipaaraw ulit next day. The answer would be yes. So, if we're gonna be spraying nga yung inyong mga uh, fungicide sa inyong mga succulents, you should be doing it in the late afternoon kung saan wala na masyadong araw or if, for example, you are in a shaded area around 4.30pm or 5pm that would be the best time to spray nga itong ating mga fungicide para overnight it could possibly dry out. It would be better if nasa isang area sila that is open yung freely nga talaga yung air circulation para mas mabili silang Mag -dry. I have here an example. Ito yung ating albicans. And nasa location siya na rain or shine. Kung nag-spray tayo sa kanya, immediately the next day, na arawan na siya the whole day. As long as nasa rain or shine area talaga sila or sanay na sila sa sun exposure, then you won't really be having a problem in exposing them sa sunlight the next day. Thanks for the video. My specific brand ba na fungicide ang recommended? San po nabibili ito dito sa Baguio? We have a lot of brands na available sa market, sa garden shops, and both online. Although in my case, I'm using the two different kind of fungicide. They come in these single pack. Personally, in my case, I've been using these blue unique na broad spectrum na fungicide, it looks like it is. Like what I have mentioned in my previous vlog, this kind of fungicide is something that is already tested and used by Benguet growers. Not only for succulent and cacti growers, but also for those na nagaalaga ng mga plants, such as yung mga flowering plants, na mga roses, Malaysian mums, and even other ornamental plants. Saan ba siya nabibili dito sa Baguio? We do sell this kind of fungicide din. It's just that we really don't post it. Sometimes may mga customers tayo na nag-order ng succulents and at the same time, they do inquire if we are selling this kind of fungicides. And yes, may mga customers na tayong nakabili ng ganito and this is also what they are using in their succulents. Sir, what if kinabukasan basa pa rin ang top part ng resets? Should I blow it using dust blower or just neglect it and hintayin na mag-dry ito? Since yung ating mga fungicides are mixed with water, it will be very normal na talagang may mag-collect na tubig sa kanilang pinaka-reset. So if overnight, just in case, hindi talaga natuyo yung nandito sa kanilang pinaka-reset, so we should always remove it using nga itong ating parang blower na ganito. Again, if pinabayaan natin yung tubig na naipon dyan, then that could possibly be the cause of some rot sa inyong succulent. Kailangan po ba pressure sprayer. It's not really necessary for us to make use of this pressure sprayer like 
what we have used in the vlog. So you can always make use of the typical na sprayer if you don't have the pressure sprayer kasi our main goal lang naman is to evenly distribute nga yung ating fungicide sa ating succulents both on the top leaves and the lower part of the leaves. So it will be more convenient kasi if you will be using the pressure sprayer. Nakakapagod kasi pag ito yung gagamitin natin pag madami yung ating mga succulents na kailangan applyan ng fungicide. Hindi po ba siya nag ng stain? So for comparison purposes, I have here some succulents na ginamitan ko nga nung ating blue versus nga itong ating yellow na fungicide. So here, ito yung itsura ng ating succulents na inisprayan natin nung dethane. Ayan, ganyan ang itsura niya. Definitely, it will have these parang stain marks na ganyan. Hindi siya masyadong magandang tignan at first since hindi pa talaga siya nawa-wash off. But these kind of stains would definitely fade away in time or every time we will be watering this, ma matatanggal naman sila. So ganyan yung kanyang itsura. And also, I have here yung ginamitan natin nung color blue. Ganito yung kanyang stain. Yung stain niya would be this color, color blue. So we have here our purposorum and it would look like this. Hindi pa natin ito nilinisan or we nash off yung kanyang leaves. Ganyan yung itsura niya. It's very light lang yung kanyang stain. Even here. In stain. Ayan. So, I will be showing to you for comparison purposes. Ito rin yung ating albicans. Ayan. You won't really see that much na stain sa kanya unless you would really look up close in between sa kanyang resets. Ayan. Yung kanyang blue stain. So, yes. You also applied nga yung ating blue na fungicide sa kanya. And look. These are the remaining stains na naiwan sa kanya. Even our Hercules na succulent. Ganyan yung kanyang itsura. Versus nga dito sa ating dethane, ganyan yung kanyang mark sa kanyang leaves. So, it's really up to you to decide which kind of stains would you prefer. Kasi both of them, itong ating blue and yung yellow would have stains sa leaves ng ating mga succulents. So, it's really up to you kung ano ba yung mas presentable or mas acceptable sa inyo na stain ng inyong mga fungicides. Thank you again sa info saan ba nakakabili. So, ito yung typical natin na dethane and you can easily buy this sa mga online shops. Uh, but for this one, hindi siya masyadong mabilis na mahanap since mostly ang gumagamit talaga nito are the Benguet growers. And with regards sa kanilang prices, this one is more expensive as compared to this one. I think this one, mabibili natin yung mga single pack for about 35 pesos each. But for this, it would cost you about 50 pesos each yung single pack niya. Right now, yung mga kamit apps namin, we do sell it in this kind of pack. But I'm still trying to improve nga yung ating packaging. Once na na-finalize na nga natin yung ating packaging, then I will be putting it na doon sa ating Shopee account for you to use and try as well. Yung pinaka last natin, bakit po color light blue yung dethane, yung nasa Shopee at Lazada yellow po. And this is also something that I would like to clarify dito kasi sa Benguet or dito sa Baguio, we are used to saying dethane to generalize nga yung ating mga fungicides. So sometimes kasi may mga customers na they keep on asking about the name, ganyan. So we just keep on saying dethane, dethane, and dethane. And so ito talaga yung dethane na yellowish yung color. And this one is the blue unique na broad spectrum na fungicide. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.